Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So I'm tired of downloading wallpapers manually and I want to write a Python script to download wallpapers from Wallhaven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Wallhaven API and Python because these days I am very much into Python and threading, multiprocessing, all these kind of stuff. So let's just write a script and I'm going to record it. All right. So a script to download wallpapers much better way instead of using the website of Wallhaven, we are going to use some Python script. All right. So uh the way we are using the api is pretty simple we make um you know we give a make a get request with this q argument so q is um anything like cyberpunk anime or minimalism let's press enter and as you can see we get some output which is some json use jq to prettify it and redirect into results.json all right so results.json is basically um as we expect like the json output so data is a list and inside this list we can see multiple objects and each object is um, representing the information of one wallpaper and what we want is just the path so path is basically the download link in high resolution all right so let's just go into yt directory and make a wall dl directory let's go into wall dl directory and wall dl.py so import request and which is a curl for python so request is a library so def wallpaper search api and give it a query and request dot get make a url first so url is um, make a f string um, q is equal to query and yeah that's it so what we are going to do is we will take query as an input to this function and then we make a you know get request so response is equal to and then json data to get the json data because this is a rest api call uh, we are going to do response.json now this json data obviously like uh, as we saw like we just saw the json data and it will be uh, wallpaper is an object in json data and this is actually a list data so wallpaper path is the path which we want and let's just make a list real links and use dl links dot append to append the path download link all right so return dl links and then call it wallpaper search api and give a query like cyberpunk all right and store the output in the you know dl uh, wall dl link url okay so for wallpaper in wall dl url i think it says so print wallpaper or uh, url just url all right so if i run um let's see first time oh wow no error so as you can see we got the download link how many are these wc hyphen l it's i guess 24 so one page have 24 yeah we can get the access to the another page by using this uh, page uh get, you know query uh, attribute and we can also categorize oh wait a second sort by using uh, so right now it's date added but i can sort by relevance views and all the other stuff so these download links now what we have to do is we have to download so let's make an another uh download wallpaper function all right so get the url so again request dot get and then the url and this will be the response response and the wallpaper is this okay this dot content is the wallpaper now we have to save it so open some file so we'll give the path later and write bytes all right and so write it rest dot content all right so what will be the path of download so dl path is equal to in my computer i have home bugs picks and then wall dl i'll make a uh, wall deal um wall deal all right so after that uh let's just give some id so wall name and then the extension so dot or just extension all right so how to get the extension i think in order to get the extension i can import os because os have this part dot split text into url so i can get so let me show you all right in uh, this video is just a walkthrough but i should show you so if there is some url so https dot com file.png 
so if i want the extension then what i can do is os dot path split text all right so here let's just give x um i think this is uh this is wait there is something wrong um split text url one i think this url should be no it's it's correct oh it's split text yeah so now instead of using this like i can type one and there's the extension all right so a little bit mistake there so let's give the dl path and here x is equal to wait a second x is equal to we get the extension but what about this wall name so wall name will be some some random okay so generate id let's just generate some id function like okay i can't type all right def generate id so in order to generate a random id we need string in python i did it so many times i'm getting bored now with this generating id i always forget this actually join and then random dot choices choices and then uh, string dot um, i think sky lower case plus so we want i want like a um, lower case plus um, the because i never have a uh, upper case um, in my file name so lower case and uh, digits all right so that's it and give case equal to six because i want um, the length six all right so generate id will be the wall name so yeah that's it if i now instead of url what i'm going to do is download wallpaper and give the url here here i'm going to start uh, like downloading like i'm going to type um, a print statement just for fun and give it a f string so yeah let's see okay we got an error expected uh, this is happening because of split text not a new thing so as you can see the download is happening let's just go to pix wall dl and see so oh my god this is so bad i forgot one more thing which is the f string of dl path yeah so let's just delete everything from here and run python wall dl ah let's just see none why none all right so generate id is there's something wrong it's return value um all right let's just leave this non jpd and as you can see we are getting let's just let's just let it download all right so this is so better than going through each wallpaper like i can download the wallpapers from max views and everything and i can make this script a lot better by using some other api functionality but my goal of making this video is actually just to show you some really basic python so we can get ahead of all this basic bullshit and then move to some threading and multiprocessing like right now we are not using any threading so every wallpaper is getting downloaded one by one but you know we can do lots of improvement in terms of you know computing so python is a great language for it and it also have async i support and these days i'm learning a lot about these kind of you know programming things so voila these are the our wallpapers okay so we got some cyberpunk wallpaper and uh, this is how i'm getting my wallpapers all right <laughs>